Kids and Cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. Happy New Year. Thanks for coming out. This is a follow-up video from yesterday's New Year's Eve mower extravaganza. I spent 110 bucks for this Craftsman in a package deal along with four pushers, a couple of seats, a battery, etc., etc., some various parts in a box. 110 bucks. I'm kind of happy with it. Yesterday we got this thing going. I put my secondary gas tank on it. This 07 started. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, lube the deck. Try to get this thing as in the best condition as I can. Uh, huge amounts of uh, tin are missing on the deck. So like I said yesterday, I'm going to advertise this for somebody that's got acreage that just wants to hack and slash tall grass. Like I said yesterday, there will be no precision plus cutting with this thing. It's going to be a hacker and a slasher. So let's, let's move over. Oh, and sorry, uh, the video cut short. Yesterday when I was looking at this I tried messing with the rear wheel drive. This thing will not pull backwards Any of you Turo experts let me know what you think the issue with this thing is uh, The gentleman put new drive wheels on the back and um, It does Not want to engage you could hear the belt squealing when we tried it yesterday when I tried engaging it and it will not pull backwards just tell me if I got to grease up the uh, bushings or the gears or what I need a Toro expert so let's mess with this um, Bolins here this was one of them. Then I got the Murray and that Troy built over there. They all have issues. But this is the one that I thought I could rectify fastest. It was missing the carburetor. The tank was there. I kind of disassembled everything, greased it, uh, degreased it. Uh, checked the plug. That looked okay. Got a little bit of spark by uh, hand turning it. Blade is there. So the carburetor is missing. I don't know why you didn't mess with another carb, but we'll throw one on. The other thing is the safety brake cable was rusty. I oiled that up and got some action on it. The big spring was off. I rehooked the spring to the linkage. So this is a 2013 Bolins with the 450E. I've got a carburetor here we're going to put on at a Chinese aftermarket. A while back I got um, I think a three pack of these kits. You get the carburetor and uh, hose and a bunch of other crap, a spark plug. I did a video on these actually. I think this is the last one I got left. So let's throw this thing on here. I vaguely remember that this was for a 450 uh, and up engine. So it should work on this Bolins. Let's throw it together. All the uh, hardware I just went and stole off of a a junk mower. I also stole the air filter backing plate off of another mower. Since it doesn't have the automatic choke, it's going to require the um, bulb, priming bulb system. So this is what's going to work for us.
the uh, O-ring is in place, the black ring. All I got to do is push it on. I got to put the, um, the outside gasket here for the backing plate on. Everything else is already put together. So that's on. All I got to do is put the tank on, put the hose clamp on, the recoil, and we put a little fuel in it. I hope you guys aren't hung over. Hope you didn't have too much eggnog. Maybe I'm the last one you want to be listening to working on junk mowers with a hangover. I'm sorry. I gotta get my needle nose. Where'd you guys hide them? So what kind of junk are you gonna work on? Since it's New Year's Day, you gotta start thinking about crap to work on this year. Okay, recoil next. I already greased up the spring and the guts. So maybe this thing had issues and he just stole the carb for another project. It did feel like it had compression turning it over by hand. So maybe this thing's a piece of crap and he took parts off of it.
Okay, let's uh, show you the underside before I put fuel in it and make a mess. You can see what that looks like. One of the rear wheel uh, plastic wheels drag and I got to grease up these wheels. As you can see, no wonder the wheels are turning. There's so much rust on this. The, uh, the blade's rusty, but it's there and it's square. So... And it actually has somewhat of an edge to it. Yeah, that, that wheel there is not moving. So if I can get those off, I'm going to bring them down to the um, bottom hole. To give me the highest deck height. Okay, let's uh, put some gas in it. That should be enough to cut small volumes of grass. Let's uh, prime it and go. If it starts and runs, this will be what brings my cash flow back to almost even Steven. I've got 110 in all this junk. This will get me 100 bucks in season, these baby pushers. I got a feeling it's got other internal issues. Okay, you see all that vibration, this thing's dancing around. <clears throat> it's still burning off snot out of the muffler. Just before I turned it off, I looked at the exhaust and it seemed like it was still blowing out snot. <clears throat> anyway, so it started, we just got a, a blade issue. Blade seems to be bent. So I've got a few of these blades that I can throw on this 20 inch blades. Okay, I'll take it. Notice the flywheel was extremely 
oily and rusty, a lot of flaky uh, rust, and it kept getting jammed up in the coil. I finally shook all that stuff loose. So I'll take it. I'll take this one, 2013 Bolins. So we had some good luck. I just need you guys to counsel me on the Turo. <clears throat> Why the rear wheels locking up, pulling it backwards. Ford is okay. This is a, a 2005. Yeah, I know five. The model 20041 on the Turo model number. 20041, an 05. Electric start, all that's going to come off. I'm going to get rid of all that stuff. It's just taking up space. The uh, battery box and the wiring. Happy New Year. Appreciate you coming out to Tommy Time. Hopefully I can bore you in 2023 with more videos about junk on four wheels. Have a good day, recuperate, get ready for 2023. Hit it hard and as always, tip your waitress and waitstaff. They're going to depend on you this year more than ever.